You think you know me. Alright everybody, welcome to my channel. I'm out here doing a review uh, demo right of the Zero FXE. I'm um, up in Buffalo, New York with uh, Zero Motorcycles, Moto Z. Uh, just getting out here for the first time doing a demo ride with this model. This is kind of like the Dual Sport we're getting ready to pull out now. Let's see, uh, we're in eco mode. Let's see how this thing takes off. And is that smooth? That's actually pretty uh, smooth right there. I do have a dual sport bike, my China bike, for those of you who follow my channel. Um, this is a little bit closer to a sport bike position for me though. I'm kind of folded over here a little bit. But uh, pretty, uh, pretty good acceleration so far. I guess I have to cancel my own turn signals with this bike. This is actually kind of weird sitting here at the uh, stoplight without it running. I'm so used to having a V-twin all these years that this is actually uh, weird. The bike's not vibrating or doing anything. It's just kind of sitting here like it's not even running. But it is. Let's say we're at 77% battery. It says it's got about 46 miles left of battery. This is one of the uh, salesman's bikes. He said he, took, he takes this one out in the trails even a little bit. So here we go. I tell you, it rolls on pretty good. I'm barely touching the throttle and it's really taken off. I mean, not like I'm going to pull wheelies, but they said these things are actually regulated with uh, the technology in them. It's not going to like flip you over. They actually regulated them so they're uh, closer to riding a regular motorcycle than uh, what you would think an electric bike, because basically the electric bike has full torque at 1 RPM. Which is kind of crazy to think about it when you're used to riding a V-twin, you know, like a Harley might have their full uh, torque at, you know, two or 3,000 RPMs. My Scout's probably a uh, full torque in the higher RPM range. But this is definitely a weird uh, riding position for me, but I definitely didn't want to start off with one of their sportier style bikes. I actually wanted to ride one of their other dual sport bikes they had there to kind of set up a little bit higher. All right, we got to cut over here, switch lanes, and of course I canceled it, the turn signal. I'm not sure. They think they said this one doesn't have the self-canceling, so let's say I definitely wish they had something like a uh, uh, more of a cruiser style bike. Most of their bikes are either dual sport or sports bike style, basically the way the light riding position is. I don't know if I would be comfortable riding with my legs like this all the time. I've never really ridden a sport bike. I'll say this thing actually goes around the corner pretty uh, pretty good. It's comfortable. You know, not leaning too hard. I'm sh this bike, they said, doesn't have the actual traction control in it. So, and it's weird not having the shift. You just let the engine slow you down. and This one actually makes a little bit of belt noise. The... Uh, Guy said he actually got a stone caught in the belt, so his this belt makes noise. Otherwise, it's a fairly quiet bike. You don't really hear anything. We'll talk a little bit more about the specs when I get a chance to. Didn't actually get the preview of this bike too much. I thought I was going to be riding one of the other bikes today. But these brakes will stop you pretty quick. I'm barely touching the front and the back. And, of course, the uh, engine will actually slow you down, too. I actually like the way this thing goes around the corner though. Oh yeah, it'll pull a little bit still in the uh, eco mode. Nice to have this out on the open road. They actually tested out it with a full charge and in sport mode. I think this has sport, road, and economy. I think that's what they said. Of course, still got to cancel my own turn signal. That's kind of annoying. I got spoiled with that in my Scout 60. But pretty smooth. The seat's pretty hard on this thing. I say it's only got 300 and something miles on it, so I say I think this would be better for somebody that's a little shorter. They said this one actually sits higher, but to me, it's I don't like having my legs bent back like this too much coming from a cruiser. I say even my uh, Chanda, my Hyo Sun Hawk, I don't sit like this. All right, we get to test the uh, suspension out on the train tracks here. So used to having to uh, downshift to go across train tracks. I go through train tracks all the time. 
I'm actually going to stay seated. I'm not going to stand up for this. Oh man, that's smooth as hell. That's pretty good. Those aren't the worst tracks I've ever been across, but the mirror position is kind of weird. I keep trying to adjust the mirrors. It's hard to see behind me. Like I said, I think this would be better for somebody a little bit shorter. The bikes look pretty smooth. Actually, that's not bad. These are normal tracks. These aren't bad. Pretty good though. I really want to start ripping on this thing a little bit, but we're in eco mode. I'm waiting to see what it's like when we get a chance to change over to sport mode. They said that everything just feels better. The motor doesn't slow you down quite as much in sport mode either, so you get a little bit less engine braking once you're in sport mode. But we're going to go ahead and stop here now and switch everything over. The other bikes have a canyon mode too. This one unfortunately does not have the canyon mode, so they don't have uh, traction control on this model so there we go guess I should have had my mask down first yeah it feels different a little bit I didn't really full throttle it or anything kind of Oh yeah, Jesus. Yeah, I gave it about three quarter on that. That thing pulled. I could feel the pull on my arms a little bit. That's pretty good. I could get myself in trouble with this one until I ran out of battery. Let's say I did sign all the waivers, so if I kill myself, at least I did it having fun. This thing does want to take off. Got to get around the three olives uh, grape truck. Yeah, that pulls pretty damn good. I feel it doesn't slow itself down quite as much either. Let's say all these people are in canyon mode, so I'm rolling up on them quick here. The sport mode is definitely, it's actually a little bit more comfortable for uh, the normal ride, I guess. I don't know. This thing pulls pretty good. I tried looking up some of the specs on these bikes earlier. We'll say I thought I was going to be riding the regular FX, but they wouldn't let me take that one out because they didn't have a plate on it. That's more closer to what my Chanda Dual Sport is. I went over those tracks pretty smooth too. Oh boy, grass on the road. Thanks, buddy. Yeah, I want to rip on this thing a little bit. I think I would have to go do a ride on this by myself one day without the... Uh, in front of me I'd like to get up on the highway see what this thing would do I'm not even going full throttle on this thing in sport mode and it's going pretty good let's say definitely with me riding this thing that probably would not have uh, a lot of throttle range or uh, battery range we just kept hitting these 45 mile an hour things I want to get up and get some uh, highway speed out of it I'll tell you these people at Moto Z uh, up here in Buffalo are really nice too they're uh, very informative. They go through the whole safety thing. Really nice dealership. If I was actually going to buy one of these, I'd actually be buying it from them probably today. Pretty cool. My first experience on an electric bike. So, Yeah, let's say this bike doesn't slow down quite as quick in sport mode. Not like your regular bike does. It's pretty easy to get used to not having the clutch too and shift it honestly. It didn't take much of an adjustment at all to go over from a regular bike. Got to remember to cancel that damn uh, turn signal though. Yeah, they're, at least they're letting us rip through here a little bit. Alright, we're getting back to... Uh, bringing the bikes back this part of the ride is over I will try to get you a little bit more on the specs on this bike let's say I didn't get a chance to look into it a little bit this is more of a asses in the seat kind of a first time experience with electric bike I would definitely need to do something different for my uh, positioning on this bike all right I'll give you a little bit of the specs uh, when I get the chance, thanks for watching this video. I'm going to try and get out on another bike here pretty soon. Bye for now.